guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi and this is budget with me and in today's video we are going to be doing my weekly budget for not my weekly budget it's my monthly budget for my Etsy income yeah <laughs> so my monthly budget for my Etsy income all right cool so we I'm just so excited about this amount because like it's just, ah. <laughs> um, so I did have to kind of pre-plan and map this out just a little bit because it's a large amount and I could not like figure all of those amounts out on my own. So I did have to pre-plan just a little bit of it, um, but not all of it. So I would just say that this is my Etsy income for the entire month. Now, if you guys remember, I did have some of my Etsy income come to me at the beginning of this month because of the way Etsy pays out the monthly income. So if I do have a few more um, sales over the weekend, I will have a little bit of Etsy income for my first March income, if that makes sense. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we had a total of 1000 $349 for my Etsy income. What? What? Y'all, what? <laughs> First of all, that's amazing. I don't think I've ever made that much in an entire month. For the, for the whole month, the number is huge. Like, it's way bigger than this. But you guys know I still have to pay shipping. Um, I had some marketing things that I did. Really small. And then, you know, Etsy has all of their fees. So, yeah, that number is not um the gross this is net, right? Did I say that right? Gross net. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is after fees and shipping and all of that. So I do have a few bills that I have to pay. I have my HP Inc. Canva and my Cricut subscription. So HP Inc is $15, Canva is 13 and Cricut, I believe, is also 13 Yeah, okay. So that's a total of $41 that are for the bills. I'm going to leave that into my account because those bills are going to draft out of my account in March. So I just already want to have the money there for that. And then I do want to move into, um, let's see let's do taxes and savings first because that determines a lot so taxes um minus 41 so that leaves me with 1308 that is what i'm going to base my taxes off of so with that number being said that is a total of $196. And then I'm going to take the $1,308 and I'm going to do 10% of that. That is going to go into my savings. And that is a total of $131. So those two numbers are out of the way. And then let's go into my business binder and let's see what we're kind of going to put in here so i have not touched this for the entire month um i like to fund my business with my business now i was doing it with my regular income and i just feel like that's not fair to myself to do that so <clears throat> i definitely want to continue doing it this way now for bills i do want to have at least an entire month's worth of bills in here to cover these bills so $41 needs to be in here. And I currently have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I have 30 right now, which means that I'm going to put in $11. So I'm going to say bills, $11. Giveaways. I did do some giveaways um, for this week. I do need to check my Instagram because I have one person that I had to reach out to. Um... So I need to check my Instagram for that. And then I need to, I'm going to get into that after. <laughs> I'm going to get into that after. So for giveaways, I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in $20. So for PO Box, 
I still haven't gotten anything that says my P.O. box is a different amount on what I think it should be. Um, so I'm sticking with $94. Um, so we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So we have 37 in here right now. So 94 minus 37 is what? 57? So 950, let's see. Yeah, 57. So... I am going to put in 57 into P.O. Box. Let me make sure I get that number right. 950 minus 57. Yep. Okay. So supplies, I need to put a good chunk into here. So supplies, I'm going to put in $300. I might come back and change that. But for now, that's what I think I'm going to put. So for support small, I don't know what's in here. 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm gonna put in 15 in here for this. And then taxes I already did. And that'll cover my business. That way, a couple of those envelopes are already fully funded. I'm going to be one month ahead on my bills for my business for just in case anything happens with my income and I just cannot afford it. I can pull it from there. My um, P.O. box is now fully funded. So that's one less thing that I have to worry about. So when that time comes, my P.O. box is already covered. So let's go into... Hmm. let's go into my sinking plans let's do that so for my kiddos their birthday is capped clothing is capped diapers let's see do i need a 20 30 40, 70, 80, 85. this is enough to cover one more box so i'm not going to worry about it right now because that is enough to cover actually that's enough to cover two boxes because their diapers are about 42 dollars a box and I buy the big thing of wipes, so we don't need wipes for like a long time. And me and their dad alternate when we purchase. So I think I'm going to leave that alone for a while. Um, <clears throat> for the twins savings, however, let's go ahead and flip to this side for my savings and investments. Um, I've been putting $10 a week into their savings for myself. I think from Etsy, let's see what they're at. They have 3,000, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, I don't know. I think I'm going to do 30. Yeah, I'm going to do 30. That'll be 15 each from my Etsy income. And their spending, I'm not going to worry too much about because um, they're usually free. <laughs> their spending is for like if I buy them a toy or something spontaneously. Um, or if we go out and I have to pay for them for something, which normally I don't. Most places are free for them, but like if we go out to eat, then that's different. But yeah, anyways, beauty. 1, 20, 30, 35, 40. 140. I'm going to put $10 in here and make this 150. So back here. Oh, and I wrote my state. Oh, you know what? I already messed it up. I wrote these on the wrong one. Oh, well. Mm, did I subtract the 30? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, did I subtract it? Oh god. I hate when I do that. I really hate when I do that. It really bugs me. 196, 131, 11, 20, 57, 300, 15, and 10. Okay. Clothing. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 101. So 101 out of there. I'm going to put 30 in there as well. 
for my spending. I already know I'm going to put like 40 bucks. <laughs> 40 bucks in there. Um, my emergency fund is a challenge. Roth. Okay, I did not do Roth. That's what needed to go on this side. So for my Roth RA, let me see. Did I already put some for this month for YouTube and Etsy? Okay, so I need to put $30 into Roth. Because I, I want to do $10 a week. So I want to do $10 a week into Roth from um, from all of my side income. And because I had some income in the beginning of the month from Etsy, I'd already put $10. So it's only been three weeks. So that means that I only need $30 more into there. So for school, I already know I'm just going to do like $10 into school i'm not really trying to fund my school with my business income and then my savings is already taken care of now into my regular sinking funds come on okay birthdays Birthdays, I'm going to do like 10 bucks. Why do I keep putting this over there? <laughs> Car maintenance. Car maintenance, I'm going to do 20. Debt. I don't know what's in there. 150, 70, 80, 85, 90, 190. Okay, so it has 190. I'm going to do 110 into debt. I don't know if I should try. You know what? Let me just, I'm going to just come back to that because I keep messing that up. <laughs> holidays. I'm saving for Easter is the next major holiday. So I'm going to put 20. Household. I'm also going to match that and put 20. And then my pup, I'm going to give him 20. Or should I give him more than that? Let's see what he has. 10, 20, 35. No. I'm going to give him 35. Or should I give him 25? 25 will put him at... Yeah, let's do 25 for him. Let's do that. That's good enough. Okay. So, let's add these up really quickly because I know that I messed up my math. I don't know why I do this to myself every single time. <laughs> and let's see where we are as far as the numbers currently. 20, 20, and 25. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, that was correct. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to put you guys through that again. Um, <clears throat> Now, for cash envelopes, I know for sure I want to put 40 into gas. No, I need to do 60 into gas because I pulled some of it out from eating out to give a tip when I went out to eat. And then I'm going to put 40 into regular eating out. So that's 100 going into my wallet. So we have 1,308 minus 1025 minus 100 minus 60. We got $123. They can go towards savings challenges, which I like. That sounds like a good number to go towards challenges. So let's see. The only challenge I'm not going to do as far as this goes is the scratch and save. And that's only because I ask you guys with numbers and I do that in my budget with me. So I'm going to start with my monthly challenge. I'm going to finish off March and I'm going to put $8. So we're going to put monthly challenge $8. For Christmas, I'm going to do... Um, let's do one of them for $10. For my old crap challenge, I want to put a decent amount in here. So I want to do 45. So I want to do three of them. So old crap, 45. I'm going to run out of space on here. It's fine. Um, for my birthday challenge, I want to do 10. So that's only one of them. Just for you will be whatever is left over, which leaves fifty dollars. That's a lot. So let's do let's 
Let's do these two also on the monthly one. And that'll leave 35 for my scratch and save. So, 8 plus 10 plus 5. Let's do that instead for monthly. So, let's jumpstart April. And if you guys are wondering why I'm doing it like that, it's because... Um, it's because I am trying to pay off debt and that will help me pay off debt a little faster. Okay, let's add these numbers up really quick. Plus 23, plus 10, 40, 25, 30, 30, 23, 10, 45, and 20. Is that correct? <laughs> plus 100, plus 1,025. Yep, that's right. Okay. So that is a zero based budget. That is everything that I'm going to be doing. So I put, let's see exactly how much I put into my business. I think I put about 60% into my business. I would say this is about 60%. And if it is, I'm okay with that. <laughs> if it is, I am a okay. I'm not adding that up. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was chaotic real quick. But I think I averaged about 60% into my business because my business took a large chunk of this. Um, and then that took a little bit of it. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, yep, I am going to write out my teller slip. Um, and I will be back with my cash stuff. I'm going to do that in a different video, though. I'm not going to include it in this video. Uh, but that is the end of this video, guys. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.